did 358 contacts in a week, people. Guys, Dwayne Rich is here, door-to-door -door real estate. I have got one of the OGs of all time. He is a beast when it comes to door-to-door -to -door real estate. And he's probably one of the biggest hustlers I know. Andy Mancala, this guy is incredible in the industry. Not only that, but he's crazy enough to run 100 mile marathons and do all kinds of stuff that normal people don't even dare attempt. So welcome Andy to the show. Appreciate ha you ha having you here. Thanks for having me, Dwayne. Brother, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your experience. How long have you been a real estate agent? I've been a real estate agent since the middle of 2019, almost just about four years now. Holy cow. How's your success been throughout your path? How's, how's your journey been? So my first year in real estate, I actually sold zero homes. And then my second year, I sold three. And then my third year, I was thinking of either quitting or actually trying in real estate. And by trying, I meant maybe I should try this whole prospecting thing that everybody's talking about. It's like uh, prospecting in real estate is like one of those things, you know, it's like as a kid, you know, you should eat your vegetables, but you don't want to. Right. And in real estate, you hear all the time you should prospect, but do you really do it and really on a consistent basis to get enough results? The answer for most agents is no. That was when I really started prospecting in 2021 was when I would also just knock on 10 doors and pat myself on the back for just getting out there because it would absolutely drain me. So pretty much from there on, then I've been able to build my tolerance to door knocking. And obviously with your help as well, been able to build my business alongside that. Awesome. So now I give him some kudos. Maybe a month back, did 358 contacts in a week, people. That is putting in some serious boots on the ground. He's built up a huge tolerance. Yes, we hold him accountable. I definitely beat him up if he's not doing at least 200. Um, Andy, how long did it take you to get your first sale from going door to door? My first sale from door to door had to be about six months. It was literally my first week. I was going door to door and I got a phone number from a seller that I just followed up with literally. I just sent them a text once a month and they were ready to sell. They interviewed me and it was literally the easiest sale of my life. Like I walked in, they they chose me over the other agents. I sold their home above asking them one weekend and then their neighbors across the street said, we saw how good of a job you did, come list hours. And then I sold their home. So it ended up being a really great double, double sale to get me into door knocking, to get me motivated to do it more. Um, but it did take me six months. I went six months without nothing once I started. Were you in our program at that time? I was not. That was actually before I started with the program. Buddy, so you jumped in, you picked up four deals. You're like, oh, door to door is definitely the way to go. Now, why did you choose our, our program? Why did you choose coaching? Uh, well, I think especially with door to door, there's so many points in the journey where it doesn't matter how much you have under your belt or how much success you might've had. Once you're out there on the doors getting rejected and you feel like nothing's working, you will, and I don't care who you are, you will doubt everything that you've done and you will doubt what you will do moving forward, especially when it comes to door knocking. When the program, I saw a lot of value in the sense that you've done it before and you've done it at such a higher level that I figured that you can give, you more than anybody can give me value and give me the direction that I need to keep going and to build my business the way that I really want to build it at the end of the day. Cool, so you had high spec expectations for me coming in. That's awesome. Yes. Tell me how I've done it fulfilling some of those expectations and what you've learned. Just right off the bat, you provided me so much value in terms of just technical things and practical advice that I could apply to my business today. I think the problem with the coaching industry um, and just coaching industry in general, not just real estate, is that a lot of coaches aren't able to provide you genuine practical value. And a lot of it's just really general advice that you can kind of take, internalize and be motivated for one day and then you kind of lose it the next day. But you provide a lot of value in terms of practical advice and just really just the I don't want to say lines, but really just ways to handle conversations that always come up in real estate that are just so great and will definitely help you beat other agents in your market. On top of that, the accountability and the actual mentorship that you provide and the encouragement you provide also helps me so much. There are so many times where before I even speak to you, I'm already feeling down or it's like another down in my journey. But then just the energy that you bring me and really just the encouragement in the sense that Again, like I know that you've done it before and I know that you're a vet and I know that this is something that you've done over and over and over again and mastered really provides me a lot of courage in the sense that at least I know that what I'm doing will not go in vain and the work that I'm putting in will not go in vain.
Because especially with door to door, it's like I don't know if this is the right word to use, but it's like it's like not a real job in the eyes of many folks. And many folks look down on door to door salesmen, but they don't realize how much you can actually make going door to door. And it's not really like a concrete, secure job in the eyes of society. So I think it, with that added into the rejection that you experience literally every day, makes it incredibly easy to just fall off the path and contemplate quitting, which again is why a lot of real estate agents quit. Any real estate agent can go out there and door knock one day. Any real estate agent can go out there and door knock two days. But are you going to go out there week after week after week, especially when you fall and continue to persist? That is the real key factor that probably, and I'm sure you would agree with this, that really separates the people that do become successful from the ones that don't. 100%. And it's proof of the pudding. He's got a scarf around his neck. He's got gloves on. He had on earmuffs as he walked in to join this call. Where do you <laughs> yeah. live at? I, I live in New York, on Long Island. What is the temperature outside right now? It's like 30s. It was snowing today. It was literally, it was literally blizzarding, like in my face. And this guy's out there getting contacts, getting prospects, putting people under contract, and he's built up, a, I don't even know how to say this, but a, a, a path that he can always succeed. And this year, Andy will clear six figures easy. And he's yeah. building up to the half a million mark, super easy, and we'll hit that. And in years to come, it's so cool to watch him because now I call on Andy. He's been in my program a long time. He's in my one-on-one -on -one coaching program where I work with him directly. Oftentimes, I'll call on him and say, Andy, what would I say? And this guy's good enough now. He will verbatim say what I would tell him to say. And it's so cool to watch how he's learned um, and how well he's doing the program. I know that he will be a $20 million earner soon as far as production wise. And I'm excited to see the journey. And if you could give two takeaways to anybody watching this on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all the social media aspects, what would you tell them? Whatever you're experiencing, to some degree, I mean, I would, I would say that I can relate. Again, like having sold zero homes my first year, it's not easy. And it's not, and, and most of the time on social media, you see the case where you have somebody like Dwayne Richards who sold 89 homes his first year. But the truth about real estate is that it's really not all glamour. Um, and it's really a lot harder than people expect, especially when they first get into the business. And I promise you that the grass is not greener on the other side. The grass is only greener where you water it. And real estate is a fantastic opportunity and a fantastic business to get into. I would say the biggest takeaway to give to anybody watching is just don't quit, stay consistent, and always be a student. Um, Dwayne, Dwayne was gassing me up, telling how I'm like verbatim spitting off everything that he that, that he tells me that I that I should know. But at, at the end of the day, I mean, I'm still learning just as much as I feel like I am from day one. Um, and I think that constant that constant effort to get better is really important. And that constant willingness to be a student is really what's going to separate anybody at the end of the day from those who, again, make it and those who don't. That's why he's successful. He's still here in coaching. We're going to do a coaching call right after this. And Andy, you picked up a deal very shortly after getting into coaching program that paid for your coaching program like two or three times over. Tell us a little bit about that, that experience. So somebody had initially reached out to me, a seller, um, saying that he was thinking about putting his home on the market, but he didn't actually want to list it. Um, he, he was wondering if I had a buyer for it. And I really didn't have a buyer at the time. So the only thing that I could really turn to was door knocking. And again, with the help of Dwayne giving me more accountability and hitting higher numbers, I was able to just in a couple of weeks actually find a direct buyer for that listing. And then that gave me the biggest commission check that I've had to date which was about $25,000 because I was able to represent both sides. I mean, at the end of the day, I can only say that obviously I got very lucky, but I also went out there and did way more numbers than I would have, especially before I even joined the program. Before I even joined the program, like my accountability levels, like I would get out there and do it consistently, but my accountability levels were not up there. And I certainly was not hitting the numbers that I am hitting now in the program. And it does, it does make a very large difference being in the program. Yeah, that's insane. Well, dude, I appreciate you taking your time coming in from the cold to come out here and pound out some knowledge to these guys. I love how genuine Andy is to give his real life story of where he's at, where he's been and the truth, the yes. The grass is not greener. You've got to water it. You've got to fertilize that sucker. And you know, then you've got to wait for it to grow. It's not going to happen overnight. But as you do it consistently, it's going to get roots so deep that you can't kill it when you try. And that's where you're going to build a massive real estate, this repeat referral business that's going to keep coming back to you every year. So Andy, thanks again for the guy you are, for the character you constantly show, and for being on the show today. So. 
Thanks so much.